Yesterday I broke a ceramic candlestick. Now, you've probably never seen that sentence anywhere, certainly not on a page at a website about business process and customer service, and I'm hoping you never see it again because I suspect next time I do it, I won't be able to replace the item that today the nice folks at Nato Furniture have promised to ship me from their store in Louisville, Kentucky. Today, I wish we had a customer service hall of fame to go with the customer service wall of shame at Answer Guy Central, and let's talk about why. On 11th Street in New York City, there is a furniture store where we've bought quite a few things. Seriously, I don't think there's one room in my home that doesn't have something from Nadeau. In my living room, there happens to be an antique looking bookshelf from Nadeau, and that bookshelf happens to have a turquoise wash across part of its face. We love the bookshelf, but the turquoise wash was a problem until we found turquoise candlesticks at Nadeau and we placed them elsewhere in the room. They carry the color, and yesterday I knocked one over and it did not end well. Nado Furniture is an interesting store. Everything there looks old, but is actually produced for them to look that way. And this means Nado can sell you quality furniture at a decent price, and it looks special because it isn't mass produced. Nado's stuff really is special. And Nado is steadfast in operating via a very simple business model. They buy things, stock their stores, and sell them, period. There are no special orders, there's no ship from one store to another, there's not even a delivery service. Buy something from Nado, and while they may refer you to a delivery service, you're on your own. Now I knew all of this before I broke the candlestick. I called the store in Manhattan hoping I could replace it and was told there was no stock, but it might come in again in a few weeks. I presumed that to mean that it never would, and I started crawling to the Nado website in the hope I'd find a candlestick at another store and that I might somehow convince them to ship it to me. And I found it twice. Nado's site claimed the item was available in both Columbia, South Carolina and Louisville, Kentucky, and I called and spoke with very nice people at both, and was told the turquoise candlestick of my dreams and nightmares, well, it wasn't really in Columbia, but there was one in Louisville. Unsurprisingly, I was also told there was no way for me to get Nado to ship me that candlestick. Now, if you think I'm about to say they should have gone out of their way to take care of me, well, you're wrong. As seriously as we take customer service here, we preach business process just as hard, and Nadeau simply was not responsible for my clumsiness. And when I reached out to Tom Nadeau, yep, there's a Tom Nadeau, I said as much. Now, you're very likely thinking I was asking to receive help anyway, and of course, I hope that things might work that way, but it's not why I contacted Tom. So take a look at this. See that SKU, the SKU number? Well, a SKU is a unique identifier that companies use to manage inventory. That AB014 SKU that the Louisville Outpost of Nadeau Furniture uses for my candlestick is the same SKU they use for the same item at Columbia's Nadeau, which means it's corporate assigned, which means there's a communication between the stores, or at least there could be, which means, which still doesn't obligate Nadeau to move things from store to store or offer delivery, they could. However, if Nadeau shares standardized SKUs with the outside world on their public website, it's reasonable to believe something. Which leads us nowhere, except for this. Nadeau had, and it's gone now by the way, and Nadeau COO Rob Salmon will tell you he credits us with pointing out the problem, a contact link for orders on their website. Orders at a store that doesn't take any. It was clumsy. It was intentionally, or otherwise, misleading. It was simply not okay for Nadeau Furniture to imply they took orders and show their internal item tracking information. And here's why this is a great customer service story. Faced with this logic, Tom Nadeau and Rob Salmon made changes. No, Nadeau's not getting in the delivery game, that's just not their bag. But Nadeau, an established company with established business processes, was reactive when the issue in their policies was pointed out. And that's a big deal, which you knew, right? What are you doing about the issues in your business processes that could use tweaking? You want to talk about it? I'm the answer guy, and I'll be back.